Yes, I really have the best news ever. Yesterday, I was preparing for a presentation in Springfield, just 25 minutes north of where I live in Bellows Falls, Vermont. And I checked the U.S. Naval Postgraduate School's six-month six forecast, and nothing there. It, it still was reverting to the March information. And I wanted the April information so that I could tell people at this presentation and you soon whether or not we could expect an ice free Arctic Ocean. So I make the 25 minute drive up there right before I left. I checked the forecast because I want to be on top of the game and that would give me an opportunity to put the information into the PowerPoint presentation if it was altered. Well, it wasn't. So I drove the 25 minutes. I pulled off to the side of the road to get a sandwich before the presentation because I can't deliver a presentation on an, on an empty stomach. Checked the forecast again. There it was for April. Sure enough, it's amazing. Not only that, but there was an email message from Bob. And Bob sent me some amazing information that allows us, you, me, anybody, to follow the current level of extent of ice in the Arctic Ocean. It's dated by one day. So yesterday's information comes out today. Today's information comes out tomorrow and so on. So two little pieces of information. One, and most importantly, we now know with great certainty that we will not have an ice-free Arctic Ocean this year. We will finish the year with approximately 5 million square kilometers of ice floating on the Arctic Ocean. That's great. That's the best possible news. And then a little tidbit for those who want to follow along, and I'll include the link for both of these bits of information. The little bit of information then indicates what the level of ice was on the Arctic Ocean yesterday, for every yesterday, as it turns out. So. What this means, for those of you who like to say terrible things about me, is that I'm wrong. In quoting James Anderson from Forbes on January 15th, 2018, when James Anderson said, quote, the chance there will be permanent ice in the Arctic after 2022 is essentially zero, end quote. Wow, essentially zero. Or, in this case, 100%. There will be permanent ice in the Arctic after 2022. Later, quoted in CBS News on April 23rd, 2021, so a little more than three years after James Anderson's quote, we have Jennifer McKinnon of the Scripps Institution, part of the Scripps Institute, and also at the University of California, San Diego, and she indicated that she expects an ice-free Arctic Ocean in 2022. So she's off by a couple of years. James Anderson is off by a couple of years. What that means is I'm off by a couple of years. So beat me with sticks if you want. In any event, I'm still looking at the best possible news. Thanks for tuning in, and maybe the best possible news will continue for another year or two. Wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs>